Hey guys, it's Carrie Burke, and you are watching Get Ready With Me. So before the start of this video, I prepped my face with this cleanser. It is Clean and Clear's Morning Burst Facial Cleanser, but I honestly use this day and night. I love it. It makes my face feel super tingly and smooth and clean and clear, just like the name of the brand. So my first step in doing my makeup is using Sunday Riley's The Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. So I pump this out onto a brush. I usually like a bigger brush so it covers the entire face. And then to start brushing that on, I really like this foundation because it covers a lot of my redness. I have rosacea naturally in my entire family, so that's definitely important to me when searching for the right foundation. You can already see the difference between the two sides here. So just covering the entire face, focusing on those red spots. I'm gonna pump out a little bit more. You never wanna use too much. You don't wanna cake it on because you wanna keep it looking natural, but you do wanna make sure you get that full coverage look. And I also like to put some on my neck so it's not two different colors between the face and the neck. And that looks good to me. All right, so that is my layer of foundation. My next step is using concealer, which is really important to use under your eyes. For concealer, I use the Wander Beauty Illuminating Liquid Concealer. I've been using this for years. I think it's amazing. And it's actually two-sided. So you have the matte stick on one side and you have the illuminating liquid on the other side, which is what I use. So start by putting this under my eyes. I usually do it in the shape of a triangle. I can't remember, I saw some beauty blogger do that and it, like years ago and it stuck with me for years. Okay. And then with my beauty blender, just blending it out. Put some on the lid as well. I just put the extra wherever, under my nose. If I get redness, I put it under my nose. I'm just blending out this side. I usually put some in the T-zone. Make sure it's all blended out. Perfect. As you can see, my beauty blender definitely needs to be replaced. It's kind of dirty. Okay, so the next step is using powder. I like to use Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy. So with this, I'm going to take a brush. Some people like to use beauty blenders, but I've been using a brush, so. I'm going to first put it under my eyes because I just applied the concealer there and I wanted to stay put. And then I just put it everywhere else. So my nose, I have an oily T-zone, so I like to put it on my nose so it doesn't look oily in photos. Put it on my head, above my eyebrows. And yeah, you just want it to be a nice, smooth, clean surface. Make sure there's no creases anywhere. Good. All right, so next step is using bronzer. I love using bronzer to get a nice contour. I sometimes use cream contour, but on the daily, I like to use a powder. Cream is only for an event or a party per se. So I am using L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Bronze It. So I'm taking a brush once again, just rubbing it lightly. And then, right underneath the cheekbone. Now it may look a little harsh at first, but I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender so it looks more natural. And I usually like to contour the jawline a little bit as well. To the other side. So just following right along that line beneath the cheekbone. And it kind of looks like a blush too, which is what I like. I don't really use blush, but use a bronzer. I've never been into blush. And I usually put some on the head. All right, and now, as I was saying, to fix that harsh line, I either take a beauty blender or that foundation brush and I just blend the edges a little, make it less harsh. A lot of people don't like as strong of a contour. I happen to like it. So if you want less of a contour, feel free to blend it out more than I am. 
All right, next step is my favorite, the highlighter. I use Essence Beauty's Pure Nude Highlighter. It's super natural, kind of a white highlight. I used to use purple, but then I found this and I'm obsessed. So just right along the top of that contour. I usually go over it a few times. I like that strong highlight. Sometimes I make a fish face when I'm doing this. Seems to help. <laughs> All right. And in the corner of your eye to get that little pop. I put it a little strong on this side, so I'm just gonna blend it out a little. All right. So that is it for the face. Now, I'm going to do my mascara. So Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara is what I use. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Not only is the solution in here amazing, but the wand is great. As you can see, it captures every single lash. So I usually twist this in a circle while I'm doing it. So first I catch under the lash and then I go on top, wiggle it a little from roots to ends. And now before doing the bottom lashes, I'm gonna continue looking down because I don't wanna smudge. I always smudge, I probably will. But I'm gonna continue looking down and just do the same thing with my left eyelash. So again, twisting it in a circle or semi-circle, I guess you could say. Wiggle it from roots to ends. Get the tops of the lashes. Okay, there we go. And it definitely lives up to the name of it. Voluminous Million Lashes. All right, now I'm gonna get the bottom lashes. And again, this is just a super natural makeup look. This is the kind of thing that I'd wear to school or I would wear just out with friends during the day. Super natural, yet also full coverage. And it's kind of that no makeup makeup look, I guess you could say. All right, that is a mascara. Now, next step is eyebrows. So I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. I usually don't love filling in my eyebrows because they're pretty thick naturally, but I just do a tiny little bit on the ends. Just fill in those spaces a little bit. There we go. Okay, and now it's awesome because the other side of this is a brow brush. So I like to brush it up a little. Sometimes I use brow gel, but for today, I'm just gonna keep it super natural. Not even doing eyeshadow. I usually don't like wearing eyeshadow on the daily. Just clean up some of the smudges with the beauty blender. One tip I have is when you're using the scara and you have a smudge on your lid or under your lid, wait for it to dry for a few seconds. I usually wait about a minute and then you can brush it off because it's so dry. So last step, I've been using this for years. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Kit. It is a liquid matte lipstick. I'm obsessed. It just gives that natural tint. So I'm applying it to my bottom lip first. And then transfer it to the top lip. And I fill it in a little. There we go. And I made a little smudge on the side, but when I make a smudge, diffuse the beauty blender. This beauty blender is truly magic for cleanups. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Carrie Burke with an extra K at the end. Go subscribe to my website, www.carriescronicles.com and subscribe to my YouTube, Carrie's Chronicles. And make sure to go subscribe to Jamo's YouTube as well. Bye.